Okay. Um, hello. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. We will be continuing off from where we left off. Which was right after we got the Zora's Sapphire. This time around we're gonna we're gonna head off and um and inadvertently assist in giving ultimate power to a uh an individual that will not use it the absolute wisest way. <laughs> so we're headed off to uh, Hyrule Castle. And then after that we're going to enter the Temple of Time and we're finally going to get to uh, experience adult life. We're going to age up a bit, you know. And it'll be really cool. Too bad there's no milk bar in this game. Then we could be old enough to get into it anyway. See how it's all gray? They say out in space that our world is all gray. And they're right, look at it. Looks gray to me.
Now we're back to, uh, to Mr. Blue Sky. Um... Let's, uh... Let's give this uh, a farewell play here. Um... Yeah, let's have a chat with Sara. Why not? Indeed I can. Dread. Really? No. That sounds awful. Oh. Now to take the gift that our only friend ever gave us and uh and just get rid of it in favor of something that some random chick we met just like recently gave us instead no real reason why we couldn't just hold on to both you know, but no he just he just throws it away look you can see him drop it right there no he doesn't do that that'd be funny <laughs> just just took the fairy ocarina and just, just dropped it on the, on the ground when he picks up the, uh, the ocarina of time. Yeah, she encoded a secret message into it. This is how they would like uh, send, uh, send messages back in the day like this. Yeah. I played the song of time. Isn't that so cool? Isn't that extremely interesting and very um, engaging? Yeah, that's what I would call it. For the the altar and the temple of time, you must protect the Triforce. Well, gee golly, uh, I will do as instructed, but. Success rates may vary, you know. What what one may do successfully, uh, another may not. I will do exactly as instructed though. So one thing I seem to be good at is, uh, is doing what I'm told. That's all I've done so far. Literally got out of bed just one morning and it's like, I gotta go do this and do that. And I was like, alright. Oh. There we go. This is it. This is the Temple of Time. We could play, uh, play chess over here, you know? Really long game of chess. Not long, like, time-wise, but long, like board size but also time wise because you're gonna have to move each piece you know like let's say here's your knight you gotta move that all the way over to here and just do that all the way uh <laughs> on the board yeah that would not be uh be a quick game There's our engagement ring, our, uh, I don't know, friendship necklace, and, uh, and our inheritance. That's what I'll call those. 
We've got an engagement ring, a friendship necklace, and our inheritance. Now we gotta go go uh, pull the sacred sword from its sacred pedestal. Isn't that? It's that legendary blade. The master sword. Look, this is, uh, you see? You see all the medallions here? You know, in the early days of game development, these were supposed to give you powers, similar to, like, other things that give you powers. Yeah. Well, here we go. Sneaky. He actually ran like around the castle and back inside and just didn't pay enough attention. <laughs> Followed instructions to a T. Instructions unclear. Accident when we uh, had opposite of intended results. And here we are. In uh, in the aether, here we are in um. I guess this this is uh, this isn't the sacred realm, is it? But it's like an intermediary. This is his like his place, the chamber of sages inside a temple of light. The temple of light situated in the very center of the sacred realm is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't be alarmed, but if you just take a look in this mirror real quick. God, our guy's aged up. He's got earrings now. Did he have earrings before? He has them now. Yeah, we've grown up. Yep, got it. We all good. It's the first time that he uh he didn't try to catch you up. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thebes, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. Yeah, sorry bro. Didn't mean to. I'm the king of evil. We can fix that, right? It's just, uh, just wipe us under the rug, you know?
this chamber of sages, there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. And the power of all the sages is awakened. The sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Roro, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. Indeed, I am the hero of time. I'm the hero of heroes. You know, I'm pretty cool. I'm a cool cat. I'm a great guy. I'm engaged. I'm an adult now. Uh, help some rock guys. Kill, <laughs> kill my adoptive father. Yeah. The first half of this game, or the, not, I mean, we're, not, we're not at the halfway point, but the the beginning of the game up to this point is mostly just Link like fixing some minor issues that Ganondorf caused, whilst also like uh, of his own accord, accidentally furthering Ganondorf's progress. Ultimately. I've done no more harm than good up to this point. Alright, now we've got to go uh, to Kakariko Village and um, get a little something. Oh, that's weird. You can see the... Oh yeah, that's not... Yeah. You know, I think it's supposed to be that way. There's a little, little, little guy in there, our buddy, the, uh, the post seller, the old guard from before.
Everything's different now. Everything's changed. Everything has fallen victim to time. It's been thrown forward. Thrown forward. Through time. Here she is. She's gonna be important for later. Because we are gonna do that quest. Even though it's gonna be a pain at certain parts. I think it would be ultimately very beneficial to do it. This is the graveyard. Shield. There we go. Finally, we have a shield for the first time since uh, we did the Dongo's Cavern. Ain't that nice? That's what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Now we can blow this up too. And this just leaves us to some of these fellows, some fairies. Alright. We, we we equipped now, we gotta we gotta soar, boys. Get that. Get that. Eventually you get a permanent unlosable shield anyway. I see that you're in a bad mood. I'll let you calm down. And now we can do this little, uh, it's just a question mark. <laughs> Young man, are you fast on your feet? Nope. I may not look it, look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. I dare. I won't get very far, but I dare. I dare to dream. This is going to take me more than one try. That's about all I know for sure. You get hit with those like one time, it's almost impossible to recover from. I yeah, just get hit by one. And they can they can really get you. Also, isn't this literally just cheating by the way? Him doing this. Oh boy, the time of this race was 1 minute and 8 seconds. You were very quick to be able to keep up with me. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. Each spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I imagine his voice would sound like a... Uh, like the worm from Corpse Bride. Oh, I didn't get it right. I wanted to, to ask him and then have the box appear and lift me up. The chest. <laughs> Look at that. Look what we got. We got the hook shot. That's right. Yeah, we did. This is where we gotta do this. 
Okay, so something that's extremely interesting to me that I never knew for <coughs> the longest time <laughs> is that playing the song of, of time under these blocks actually places them through time. So the, their, their position and it's the spatial dimensions is is permanent and, and not malleable. But their position, the temporal dimension of time, can shift. So if I play this song, so right now, these blocks exist only here. They do not exist in the past seven years ago. But if I do this, and I play the song of time, they are going to cease existing in the present era. And this room, seven years ago, now has the blocks in it. If I came back, if I went, you know, put the sword up, uh, fell down here and did the race and got all the way, you know, over here to where I need to be. If I did all this as a child, the blocks would now be there, but they wouldn't have been before. So I, I never knew that, like, ever. Really. <laughs> One more, and I'll have another heart. I do have an opening. How did he know? Right? This dude must read mine or something. Yeah, here we come to our uh, our first time paradox of the game, which is right immediately after you become an adult. Yeah, the Song of Storms, the best song in the entirety of the Zelda franchise. <laughs> I like how every game has music as like one of its major themes. If we talk to him, he's going to be extremely upset with us as well, which is very humorous. Isn't it supposed to be raining? I didn't see any rain. What the heck? If we can't get down there as an, as an adult. Now we just backtrack. Right? Also... Can you... Is it possible to do... Uh, no, no, it isn't. I was gonna, I was gonna ask a question of possibility, but I answered it before I got out of my mouth. Now we have to go to. Uh... So the place, and as per usual, I'm gonna get up to the point. Uh of having entered the dungeon and I will then end the video there Thank <laughs> you.
there a way to jump off of this and make things a little bit quicker? If there's... There is a way. Wait. Right? Make sure to save as often as you can. This is possible, isn't it? Well, maybe not that, but this is, right? No. Can I not? I've heard that this isn't even like the proper... Like... Yeah, the forest is now corrupted and corroded and all kinds of nasty. I'm pretty sure that... Hmm. Yeah, the only one of the three dungeons that you can't enter as an adult are, is Jabu Jabu's Valley because Jabu Jabu is... Well, no one knows what happens to him at the end of the last game. Or, or, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, at the end of, um, you know, between the seven years. But, um, <laughs> probably, probably got killed. That's my assumption. This, this is the moment where you stop hating uh, Mido and begin to feel sorry for him. After we uh, do this. Oh my god. Can't believe I did that by acting again. There's something down here by the way, I think, right? Goodies down here. No? Am I confused? I thought there was something down there you can get when you get the iron boots, but I could merely be a buffoon. A fool, if you will. Go. 
want to try to do this without taking any damage, but... Uh -oh. But also, I'm going to do stuff like that, and then you must certainly take damage. I just coming all the way over here. Bye. Another guy here. Three sword heads to kill. And it gives you a bunch of uh, rupees. And there he goes. Just like that. And then now we can enter the slow area. Some people have said that they think that this is like a previous location of Hyrule Castle, but I think it's like directly stated that this was just like an, a barracks for soldiers. Like this was like a... Um, so during the warfront, they had these places built across the map, and this was one of this one of those one of those forts. That's what it's called. It's called a fort, and it's designed more like a fort than it is like a, a castle. But that'll be that. Yeah. Well. Oh. Any other surprises? Okay, that'll be that. Um, well, thank you for uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little uh, episode of ours, making progress and getting further along in the story. 
Uh, and and I hope that you had a wonderful day or night. You know, I, I hope that you're doing well. Uh, yeah. Bye-bye.